वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी टेलिंग यू ऑल अबाउट द डिफिकल्टीज व्हिच केम बिकॉज ऑफ द साइट्स लो बेरिंग कैपेसिटी फॉर बिल्डिंग द फाउंडेशंस ऑफ राम मंदिर एंड हाउ दीस सॉल्यूशंस वर डिस्कस्ड एंड वर्कड आउट एंड फाइनली इंप्लीमेंटेड एट द साइट दैट इज इंजीनियरिंग द फाउंडेशन ऑफ राम मंदिर अयोध्या the site challenges and solutions the physiography of ayodhya district is mostly plain it is found to comprise of three types of soil loam sandy loam and clay the northern blocks of the city consist of clay soil whereas the southern blocks have been found to comprise predominantly sandy soil as per wikipedia the temple site is located near sarayu river due to which existing water table was found to be quite high because of seepage and capillary action etc the results of soil investigation concluded that the soil stratigraphy along the depth below the natural existing ground level at the site present with high water table at the site was a big challenge to overcome for constructing such a sprawling big structure then it was decided instead to overcome all these situations to find solutions for building a structure that could even endure an earthquake of magnitude on a stress scale of 6.5 and that does not need any repairs for next 1000 years at all that is it was an engineering challenge to find effective foundation solution for this very structure to be built now interesting facts which i am sharing with you uni news institute and world architects design advisors construction agency project management consultancy company and sculptors <coughs> According to an article from UNI News Agency, the construction of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya was technically assisted by at least four leading national institutes of Council of Scientific and Industry Research (CSIR) and Department of Science and Technology (DST). The article further states that institutions like Indian Institute of Technologies and ISRO (Indian Space Research Organization) were also involved for their valuable inputs in building this grand temple. The Minister of State, Prime Minister's Office, Dr. Jitendra Singh, have already discussed that CSIR. CBRI Rohit Central Building Research Institute Rohit has contributed a lot towards technical guidelines for Ram Temple construction while CSIR NGRI has awarded give significant inputs on foundation design and its seismic safety the team measured historical earthquake intensity in the region stretching from Ayodhya to Nepal and simulated it in the laboratory to design a unique foundation for the temple the original design plan and architecture for ram mandir was devised in 1988 by the sompura family of ahmedabad the chief architect of the temple is chandrakant b sompura who was assisted by his two sons nikhil and ashish who are also architects a new design with some changes from the original was prepared by the sompuras in 2020 it's called cursi wikipedia and different newspaper agencies <coughs> now the engineering behind ayodhya ram temple Design advisors were IIT Chennai, IIT Bombay, IIT Guwahati, the major leading Indian Institute of Technologies of India, and known worldwide for their research inputs in different fields. CBRI Central Building Building Research Institute wrote ki SBNIT Surat, NGRI Hyderabad, construction company Larsen and Tubro Limited, world renowned construction company, project management company Tata Consulting Engineers Limited, having a niche in the field. Sculptors Arun Yogiraj of Mysore, the famous sculptor Ganesh Bhat and Satya Narayanan Pandey. The temple is a modern engineering marvel designed to withstand the strongest earthquakes and even most intense flooding. Constructed by Larsen and Tubro with management of management by Tata Consulting Engine, Engineers Limited, the Ram, Ram Temple is a result of meticulous planning and innovative construction techniques, <coughs> design and architecture. This image. is taken courtesy from india today the temple's design is inspired by traditional nagra style architecture and it has incorporated included 360 pillars in its construction and is made entirely of stone moving away from modern iron steel or even cement this decision was taken in order to enhance the structure's earthquake resistance as stone is found to have a longer life span and better durability compared to other materials in unforeseen situations like earthquakes etc now the foundation engineering of this majestic structure 
as the existing soil did not possess sufficiently high bearing capacity to sustain the desired design loads it was decided to look into probable ground improvement methods and alternative foundation solutions possibilities <coughs> to the best of known sources as per india today and other news agencies on the advice of the indian institute of technology chennai engineers involved were advised to remove the existing top 15 meter deep soil starting from the ground level which is believed to be quite weak which was believed to be quite weak to bear the load of such a huge structure it was then decided to look in for good alternative ground improvement techniques and then finally it was decided to fill it with reengineered soil or as any other feasible option one of the most significant scientific innovations in the temple's construction is its foundation only <clears throat> that is why geotechnical engineering comes to the fore as the site needed a strong foundation of 50 foot deep pit 400 feet by 300 feet in dimensions in area was first excavated and then finished with a number of filled in 12 inch layers of roller compacted concrete source india today and hindustan times now what is roller compacted concrete i image on the side has been shown karsi pti by hindustan times of the construction of the foundation of ram mandir actually roller compacted concrete was decided to be used in building the temple's foundation on an around 15 meter thick layer that is filling this dug out pit by 12 inch thickness 48 numbers layers of roller compacted concrete which was made from the same ingredients as conventional concrete but in different ratios and increasingly with partial substitution of fly ash for portland cement now why the fly ash was used as a substitution material for portland cement it has a technical reason behind it the partial substitution of fly ash for portland cement is an important aspect of roller compacted concrete because the heat generated by fly ash hydration is significantly less than the heat generated by portland cement hydration this in turn reduces the thermal loads and hence the potential for thermal cracking in the foundations that is they do ensure that our foundation of this temple remain safe for a very longer duration of time <coughs> it is actually a mix of cement fly ash water sand aggregate and common additives but contains much less water the produced mix is drier and essentially has no slump roller compacted concrete is usually placed in a manner similar to paving the material is delivered by dump trucks or conveyors spread by small bulldozers or specially modified asphalt pavers and then compacted by vibratory rollers this definition of an information about roller compacted concrete has been taken from wikipedia the free encyclopedia now the base over foundation after this foundation base was prepared in order to increase its robustness it was further reinforced by a 21 foot thick plinth of granite designed to protect the temple from moisture that is moisture content may which may rise by seepage or capillary reaction will not affect its foundation and the superstructure the foundation's pillars are built and likened to those supporting mammoth bridges over mighty rivers ensuring the temple's robustness against seismic activity the use of stone in the temple's construction was decided to be done taking into view that they last longer than other materials and avoids the issue of rusting of iron that is a sturdy foundation was made engineers also looked into flooding records of the region and confirmed that the level on which the temple is being constructed is safe from any future flooding because it is being built near or rather to say on the banks of river sarayu so that it will remain safe forever from any future flooding Furthermore, the temple the temple features a unique noon reflection mechanism designed by CBRI Central Building Research Institute of Roorkee, which directs sunlight onto the idol's foreheads at noon during Ram Navmi, enhancing the spiritual experience for devotees as per Indian Today News. The newly constructed structure is definitely to be hailed as the amalgamation of spirituality with scientific innovation. Now, why scientific innovation? Because a site pe सॉइल की बियरिंग कैपेसिटी बहुत कम थी स्ट्रक्चर का डिजाइन लोड 
और बाकी विंड लोड्स लाइव लोड्स एक्सेट्रा की रिक्वायरमेंट्स काफी अधिक थी तो हमारे इंजीनियर्स ने एक जॉइंट एक्सरसाइज करी एंड दे फाउंड अ वेरी गुड ग्राउंड इंप्रूवमेंट टेक्निक इन द वे ऑफ लेयरिंग पुटिंग आउट द सॉइल पुट इन द लेयर्स ऑफ रोलर कॉम्पेक्टेड कॉन्क्रीट फोर्टी एट नंबर्स एंड देन रेजिंग द प्लेन्स बाय ग्रेनाइट यूजिंग ग्रेनाइट स्टोन एंड दैट इज वाई कम्स टू द फोर जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग फाउंडेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड ग्राउंड इंप्रूवमेंट टेक्निक्स कि जहाँ ये तय हो कि हमें स्ट्रक्चर ही बनाना है और सॉइल हमारी उसके अनुरूप या अनुकूल ना हो देर वी जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियर्स एंड इंजीनियर्स कंसर्न यूज देयर नॉलेज फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग एन इफेक्टिव लॉन्ग लास्टिंग सोल्यूशन टू द फाउंडेशन प्रॉब्लम एंड हेंस it was decided to build this ram temple on these kind of foundations which i have already explained now images and inputs have been taken from ndtv wikipedia uni india today hindustan times and pti press trust of india thank you for your patient hearing namaskar keep on subscribing to my youtube channel geotechnical engineering consultancy tips thank you thank you very much